So, beloved, the essence of the victory keys is to exercise authority, to be a good ambassador of Christ, to move from wherever you are to where you should be in Him because you are you are representing you know, an ambassador maybe that man before he became an ambassador had never you know live in a mansion because an ambassador the glory of the kingdom is representing will be his portion so whatever is his weakness will be forgotten and that is what we have in christ that's the victory we have in him now we're going to continue this sometime next week but today we want to read the our text from the amplified version so Matthew 16, 19 from Amplified Version. Say, I will give you the keys. So when you become a child of God, he will give you the key. So he's promising you, in case you are not born again, in case your salvation is not correct, it's not sure, he's saying that if your salvation is sure, because you see, before you can represent any organization, you must be a member of that organization, either by right or by birth or by appointment or any form. So he said, I will give you the keys and what does the key stand for authority of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind you forbid you declare to be improper or unlawful on earth will be already we have we have already been bound in heaven and whatever you lose you permit or declare lawful on earth we have already been loosed in heaven. Yes. So anything you do will be established in heaven. In fact, as you are doing it, it is settled. So he said it will have been already in the past tense. You are doing it, but it's already settled in heaven. So it means that heaven will be working with you. No wonder the Bible says give his angel charge over all. So as you are doing it, it is already done. And heaven will make you do the things that heaven has established. Now, what does that mean? Look at Luke 10, 19. Say, Look, I have given you authority over all the paths of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. That's great. How do you Jeremiah 33, verse 3 says, Call upon me in the days of trouble, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Sir, a lot has been deposited in you. You have so much at your disposal. Excuse me. You have so much at your disposal to use to glorify God. We'll see you. God bless you.